in the supermarket. Oh, <laughs> my husband grows them. Oh, it's really? Like a big deal. Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I'll go get I'll one. Check it out. I'll bring one in for you. Uh, please, do. please do. Please do. There okay, really is nothing now. like a big fresh How Jersey tomato yes. in the summertime with like a little yes. like pepper, and even oh. better if it's clean and organic, fresh. Preach. From the farm, Preach. still with Sounds a little good. dirt on it. Sounds Love real it. good. A little, little dirt, so just yeah. a little extra Never something. Never hurt anybody, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so I'm out on my morning walk this morning, and it's cool. It was it was kind of a little gray, but it was cooler. And I called my sister in Pittsburgh like I do every day. Yeah. They had 80 and sunny. Completely uh, different, right? Yeah. 80 and sunny. We're in this little bubble. So basically, the bubble we're in is kind of like the weather that San Francisco gets all summer. They mm -hmm. have a wind okay. off that cold Pacific Ocean, and it keeps them kind of cloudy and cool through much of the summer months. We don't get it often here because prevailing winds are westerlies across the United States. But when we get an east wind like this, it's cloudy, it's chilly, it's stable, so it's generally dry. Just a little drizzle here or there, but definitely feeling a little bit below average on this first day of May. A live look at Plymouth meeting shows how gray it is out there. You can see the trees are green, but the skies are gray. Not much sunshine out there today. Now it has been generally dry. Oftentimes you can get some light rain or drizzle to pop up on a day like today. We haven't seen too much of that. There may be a little bit overnight tonight, but all in all, relatively quiet day. You just definitely needed the sweatshirt or the jacket if you're going to be out for any length of time. Tomorrow is a completely different story, and you can see here on StormScan 3, there's Pittsburgh. They're in sunshine. Completely different when you move across the mountains of, of central Pennsylvania there. For our area, we've got that east wind. The clouds are hanging on. They've been with us all day, and it's still cloudy up into portions of New England. Here's the front that's going to approach tomorrow afternoon. It definitely has weakened from what we saw yesterday. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings with it, but it looks like the severe threat will be be relatively low for our region tomorrow. That said, though, when it's 85 degrees and sunny during the day and a thunderstorm pops up, you have to at least entertain the possibility that it could be a gusty, strong thunderstorm. 59 degrees, the current temperature in Philadelphia is crazy to be talking about 80s. Look how cool it is right now. 54 in Trenton, 61 in Millville. You can see the circulation, the cooler air coming in off the water. This all exits tomorrow, though, and it's going to feel like a change of seasons. It'll feel like summertime when you step outside. Overnight, though, cloud patchy areas of rain or drizzle here or there one or two spots 55 degrees is the overnight low and then we just skyrocket tomorrow once the sun comes out that west wind picks up we're talking 85 degrees for the daytime high most of the day is dry just the chance for a few late day thunderstorms this is record territory by the way 85 and our actual record is 89 that was set nine years ago back in 2010 so future weather again clouds overnight those clouds break tomorrow we start the day with sunshine and then just a few scattered showers or a thunderstorm coming through here tomorrow, mainly in the afternoon or evening. That'll clear out. There's not much with it. Friday, more clouds and a shower at any time, but the best chance once again is late in the day or at night. And Saturday, we may see some showers here or there on and off throughout the entire day. As far as severe threat is concerned, just a marginal risk, mainly off to the west. But again, with the heat and humidity that will be in place out ahead of these storms, you definitely have to look for potentially a few isolated strong thunderstorms. Rain returns to the region over over the weekend, look at that Broad Street run forecast, 55 degrees, rainy, cool and breezy. Don Bell's over there excited. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's not 85 and sunny, but it's going to be a little damp Perfect. outside for the runners on Sunday. Here we soaked, Don. Sunday, 65 with rain, and then we're back to sunshine next week. I will be snug in bed. <laughs> yes. Well, cheer you're not going to cheer him on. on. Every year he asks us to come cheer him on, and every year it's raining and all Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Uh, uh, no. uh, maybe this year. Maybe. Yes. You know what? That is nine miles year. too long for me. Hello. <laughs> but it is amazing. All right. Thanks, Kate.